everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a weird taste test. I am super excited because some of these are really weird and I'm a little scared to try one of them specifically. So the first thing that I'm going to try is going to be these little fruit gummies that I found and they're black currant. I've never tried anything black currant and I've always wanted to, so I'm going to go ahead and dig into that. These are supposedly like really good I guess because they're vegetarian even though I thought all gummies were vegetarian maybe I'm wrong if I am let me know because I'm actually really curious about this but it has like it's gluten free gelatin free GMO free vegan and whatnot oh okay kind of looks like a dot oh that's hard pack says yummy yummy but mm. it stuck to my teeth so that's okay. It doesn't really taste like a fruit to me. Maybe it's because I've never tried black currant, but I don't know. I feel like I've tried that before. It's I wouldn't purchase it again. Sorry. I'm gonna move on to something that might taste a little bit better. I'm a huge fan of spicy. I literally eat chicken wings, like hot something spicy about five times a week out of seven days a week. I'm not exaggerating. So I got these um, hot and spicy mango caliente. Ooh, I shouldn't have smelt that. So it's like sugar coated. Mmm. Woo, that is pretty spicy. Um, it's not really, it's obviously mango. It doesn't really taste too much like mango. Um, it's okay. I wouldn't get it again. This video is looking bad so far. Strawberry lime soda. That's good. I'm not a big pop person, but this isn't like too carbonated. This is good. <clears throat> Strawberry lime in a soda. Who would have thought? I also picked up this grape bubble gum. I'm not a big fan of like grape flavored. I love grapes, but grape flavored is not my favorite. But in a bubble gum, they come in these little cute packets. Oh, they're balls. Little balls. It's that gum that doesn't like instantly get hard when you're chewing it. It's not bad. I would eat these again, which is good because there's seven more packets. But um, the grape flavor isn't as much as like a grape soda. You know how like it's like boom of grape. This is a good. It's good. Thumbs up. Um, I thought it was cotton candy because it looks like cotton candy. It's actually Shirley Temple, and I'm a fan of Shirley Temple. So. Mmm. That's good. Hollywood's original Shirley Temple. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to these little biscuits that I have no idea what they say because they're in Chinese. I could be eating fish flavored something. I mean, who knows? Oh, they're, that's cute. I like the packaging. Look at that. They have little hearts on them. A plus for packaging. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. These are cute. Okay, they're sweet. I was half expecting them to be savory. They're sweet. Mmm! These taste like those little grandma sandwich cookies. You know, like the grandma's brand. The little, the ones in the blue package with the small cookies are so good. This tastes like them. A plus. Lucky stars candy. Boom! Okay, so I have no idea what's in this package. Um, I want to say it might be something sour, but let's see. Oh! I was not expecting that. They're actual little stars. Little hard candies. Oh, that's really hard. Um, they don't really taste like much. Well, these are going to break my teeth. The little bit of flavor that they have, I don't like it. Mm-mm. Yeah. A plus for packaging, but the candy itself is sorry. 
If you guys have been to Harry Potter World and you guys have tried the butter beer, it is so good. It is my obsession. Every time I go, I have at least two, and I always do the frozen. My camera just cut off. Ugh. I don't know why it does that. Every time, whenever it hits 10 minutes of me recording, it always cuts off. Um, so I was basically just telling you guys about the butter beer and how delicious it is, and I found this drink. I already did try it, but I'll try it again. And this is butterscotch beer. And I was super excited to try it. It's not bad. It tastes like a butterscotch candy melted into a drink. So it's a little bit sweeter than I wanted. But I, I don't know what differentiates it from the butterbeer at Harry Potter World. I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm giving it a thumbs up because it's something that I can drink. Saving the best for last. I'm so terrified of this. Ah! I dropped everything. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the exploding wasabi candy. Oh my god, it has a picture of sushi in the back. This better not be like fishy. Wasabi is not fish, but whatever. I'm wondering if this is hot. Let's just try it. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god! Mm. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I did that much. It wasn't spicy. The taste was just disgusting. It was so gross. And I ate almost the whole packet. Like, there's barely anything in there. Ugh. Thank you guys for sitting through that video and experiencing that with me. That was so gross. My God. Ugh. If you guys would like to see more candy videos, but like actually good candy, like I've been wanting to do um, Australia. I want to do Australia, British sweets, and I want to do Asian treats as well. So, if you guys are interested in seeing that, just let me know. Give this video a like. Don't you forget to subscribe for more videos. Yeah. See you guys next week. Bye. Open your mouth and tilt your head back. Oh, God. <clears throat> Ready? Uh, no. Open your mouth. Hang on. I drop it here. No. Put one in Michael's mouth. I'll put some in my hand and then do it. Put one in Michael's mouth. Why do you know it's the one? I have to do it. I, I just thought it was more. Ready? Oh, what the? Here, pop it up! Is that what that means? You need to take like. Oh, dude, give me a bag. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. You're a pop up. You're a pop up. You're a pop up.